Luke's Way of Looking by Nadia Wheatley. All the boys in Mr. Barraclough's class saw things the same way, except for Luke, who looked at things differently. Every Friday afternoon during art class, Luke got into trouble. When Mr. Barraclough told the class to paint a portrait, Luke put the nose and ears in the wrong place. When Mr. Barraclough told the class to paint an apple, some of the boys did green ones and some did red ones, but Luke chose another color entirely. Even the other boys th thought Luke was weird. When Mr. Barraclough saw one of Luke's uh, pictures, he exploded with rage. Why do you do this, boy, he yelled. Luke didn't know, so he said nothing. One Friday, Mr. Barraclough told the class to paint what they saw through the window. Luke used his imagination. When Mr. Barraclough saw what Luke had done, he went ballistic. He screamed at Luke, he tore up the painting, he broke Luke's brushes into tiny pieces. What's wrong with you, boy? Mr. Barraclough shouted. Luke didn't know, so he said nothing. That just made Mr. Barraclough even more wild. The next Friday morning on the way to school, Luke turned left instead of right at the corner of Homer Street, and he hopped on the first bus that came along. He didn't care where he went as long as Mr. Barraclough wasn't there. Luke stayed on the bus till he saw a building that looked like an ancient palace. There weren't any guards at the door, so Luke went in. For the first time in his life, Luke felt at home. Whoever lived here seemed to look at things in just the way that Luke did. Luke wondered what Mr. Barraclough would say if he were here. Even in the dining room, everything looked just perfect. After lunch, Luke went sightseeing. No matter how far he walked, there are more and more things to see. He felt as he had entered a whole new world. And just when Luke felt he could burst with happiness, he found himself flying out into the sunshine. Our bus to Homer Street was waiting for him. Luke sat in his favorite window seat. As he made his way back, everything seems to have changed. Even school looked more exciting than Luke could ever have imagined. As he got off the bus, he could hear the bell ringing. Friday afternoon was starting. Luke raced into class. He could see other boys staring at him. Where have you been? Tell you later, Luke promised. This afternoon, boys, said Mr. Barraclough, we are going to paint a picture of this watermelon. The other boys groaned. Luke reached for his brush and began to paint what he saw. Mr. Barraclough didn't know what to say, so he said nothing.